Well everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Google Pixel 7 and compare it against the Samsung Galaxy S23 and see which specific phone you should go and pick up. Now you can't make a, really a wrong choice here, both these phones are great. I will say if you want to pick up either one of these phones, a link will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now starting off with the outside of both these phones, you can definitely tell that they, you know, they're kind of similar designed, but the Google Pixel 7 is a little bit of a bigger phone. This phone came out late last year, so it's not even a few months old yet, and it was a pretty good phone. You know, it's coming from the Pixel 6, which was a pretty good phone overall. There are some things that I love about this phone. There's something that I don't like about this phone, much like the Galaxy S23, but this 6.3 inch display on the front is very good. It's an AMOLED display. It's a hole punch display. It's a 90 hertz panel as well, which looks pretty good. I love 90 hertz displays, and this one is no exception. It looks pretty good. It gets pretty bright. Nothing super out of the ordinary, but it's a pretty good display when it kind of comes down to it. With the Galaxy S23, this is a little bit of a smaller 6.1 inch dynamic AMOLED display. Now some key things to keep in mind here, it's also a 120 hertz panel, which I think is great. Again, having a 120 hertz screen is awesome, and you are basically getting that type of capability here, which that in and of itself is really, really crucial. Now it's 120 hertz, like I said, 1080p on both these panels. So beyond that, you know, kind of similar, but I definitely do think the Galaxy S23 has a better display when it comes down to it. Now in terms of the size of both these panels, you can kind of tell that both these panels kind of have almost the same thing kind of going for them to be honest. There's not really that much craziness, they're both kind of flat. Uh, the Galaxy S23 does have this like metallic, you know, reflective texture which is nice. The SIM card tray is on this one where it's on the bottom of the S23. And on the back, this is where things start getting very, very different. So the back of these phones are, like I said, very different between these two. With the Galaxy S23, we kind of have this flat back with a frosted glass back with a Pixel 7. I can't believe I'm already getting scratches here. The Pixel 7, we have this, you know, standard glass back with this like reflect, this like whatever this is, like that bar at the back. I like the design of both these. I'll probably say the Pixel 7 is more of an iconic design, like it looks a little bit more unique. The Galaxy S23 seems good too. I kind of like it though sometimes when the camera bump protrudes a little bit outside of the camera lenses. That way, because sometimes if you kind of put this like flat, sometimes it can affect these camera lenses sometimes if you drop them. That's one thing I've noticed even with my iPhones, it's almost kind of the same thing too. When it's kind of covered like this, it helps a little bit, but... Beyond that, that's kind of it on the outside. Both these have IP certification. Both of them also have wireless charging, reverse wireless charging too a little bit. It's a little bit better on the Galaxy S23 though, but that kind of covers it up on the outside. Now in terms of software and longevity, this is another big thing to keep in mind, and this is usually one advantage a lot of people would pick over the Galaxies is for the Google, is basically for you know their software. I like stock Android, I think it's awesome. I will say though with the improvements with the One UI, Samsung has really been surprising me about the feature sets they've been putting on their phones recently with their software. So in this case, with something like the Pixel 7, you're getting stock Android and you're getting software support for a very long time. But you know, Samsung is you know keeping up quite well, even though it's a little bit more of a bloated version of Android. I will say that Samsung has been you know with their software longevity, they've been improving that, which was awesome. They've been improving so many other things alongside that, which is really cool as well. So personally for me, like I wouldn't really pick one phone over the other based off software longevity. I think both these phones are going to be lasting roughly around the same time. But if you want the stock Android one, you know, the Google Pixel 7 is going to be the way to go. But the Galaxy S23 is probably going to give you more features when it comes down to it. So it's kind of a funny thing. They're both kind of going like, you know, kind of competing in that sense. But in terms of software and longevity, that kind of covers it up there. Now, in terms of the performance, let's go into a speed comparison. The Galaxy S23 has that new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset inside of it with 8 gigabytes of RAM, where the Google Pixel 7 has that Google Tensor G2 chipset inside of it with 8 gigabytes of RAM as well. So let's go and see which one's the faster one between both. Okay, there we go. All the apps are cleared out in the background, as you guys can tell. So let's get into it. Hopefully, I can stop hitting the camera. Phone calls, 3, 2, 1. The Pixel 7 is here. Galaxy S23 is here. And already there were kind of a slight disadvantage. Messages, 3, 2, 1. Okay, S23 was faster. Let's go into Chrome, 3, 2, 1. Although I think they're going to be in different panels. No, pretty much the same thing. S23 was faster. Let's go into the camera, 3, 2, 1. And again, just from those four applications we opened up, the Galaxy S23 was the faster one almost every single time. I will say though for this one, this night mode is enabled here. So let's go and hop out of here. Let's open up their Play Stores, 3, 2, 1. 
I think the Pixel 7 was faster there. It's funny because, you know, on Android, they just love opening up the Play Store super fast. Now, scrolling through, like I said, 120 hertz on the right, 90 hertz on the left, you might not be able to tell over the camera, but I can kind of tell a little bit that maybe the S23 is slightly smoother. Hopefully, you can kind of tell that over the camera as well, but in real life, that's kind of what I was seeing. Now, hopping out of this one, sorry, the Pixel 7 keeps like sliding down. So I'm going to the next side, which has a bunch of applications within it. Let's try Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. Of course, now we're starting to get these pop-ups on the S23. Before, we weren't getting any pop-ups. So, and of course, this one's going to work. So, you know, well, let's just say for this one, since there are so many pop-ups, they were kind of the same thing. So we'll just kind of let this one as it is. But when they actually get into the game, let's go and see what the differences would be there. So 3, 2, 1. Some glitches in the beginning with on both, maybe more so for the S23. Running through, I don't see any glitches beyond that, so kind of the same thing there. Let's go ahead and get into Tank Youth. I do not have it here. Let's do Stack 321. And we're basically looking for the app opening speed. And again, the S23 was the faster one there. Facebook, which I have here, 321. I think the S23 is slightly faster there. Let's go ahead and get into Instagram, 321. S23 faster, Netflix, three, two, one. Again, S23 was the faster one. Let's go and get into Snake First Blocks, three, two, one. And I think I can probably tell you the S23 is probably going to be the faster phone when it comes down to it. And that was kind of the one issues I, or one of the issues I've been having with something like the Google Pixel 7. I like the Pixel 7, I think it's a great phone, but the performance could definitely be better, especially because we're using a Mali GPU on the Pixel 7 over the you know, Snapdragon on the you know S23. So that's always been one thing that I've been seeing. So when it comes down to it, you're definitely going to be getting a faster performing phone from the Galaxy S23 over the Google Pixel 7, in my opinion. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. Now in the camera department as well, this is another area that Samsung has just been dominating the last few years. I mean, we are getting kind of different camera setups on both. So the Galaxy S23, we're getting a triple camera setup here, a wide ultra wide telephoto lens. The Pixel 7, we're getting, you know, a dual camera setup, a wide and ultra wide camera, Big thing to keep in mind, the Pixel 7 is a cheaper phone now a little bit, but we are getting 8K capability on the back of the Pixel of the back of the Galaxy S23. The Pixel 7 we can do 4K at 60, which is nice, but we can also do 4K at 60 on the front of both these phones too, which is nice. Now on the Pixel 7, you know, I think Pixel cameras are good for the price tag. I just don't think they're, you know, they don't have that many features built in. I see a lot of people saying these are the best cameras out there. I really don't think that is the case. I mean, they're very good. You're getting 0.7x zoom from you know the ultra wide lens. You are getting the 8x zoom, which is pretty nice. Usually they tap out a 5x zoom for you know not having a you know telephoto lens. So it's nice that this thing has some capability there. We're also getting portrait mode, motion mode, night sight at the very bottom. We're also getting standard video, cinematic mode, which is nice. And we have a few more modes under mode as well, like panorama and photosphere. This is a pretty decent camera though. I mean, like I said, I wouldn't go from a Galaxy S23 to this one, but it's, you know, Google's kind of relying a lot on software for their software enhancements. And I think they do a pretty good job overall, but the Samsung Galaxy S23's camera is very, very good. It's a very good camera, has just tons of features built in. And let's just start off with the front. I mean, first of all, you know, you are getting 0.6x zoom on the outside, but you are getting 30x zoom zooming in. So that is a crazy amount more than what you were getting on something like the you know Google Pixel 7. You still have portrait mode, you still have video mode, and under more, I mean, look at how many more options, no pun intended, you're getting on the Galaxy S23 over the Google Pixel 7. That has been something that's always stood out to me. So you were definitely getting a better camera on the Galaxy S23 than on the Google Pixel 7. I'll have a full camera comparison out, and I'll have a full battery comparison out at some point. I'm going to assume that the Google Pixel 7 may have better battery life, but to kind of sum it up, I definitely do think that the Galaxy S23, you know, it's a smaller phone, but it kind of gives me more of a flagship experience on this type of phone over the Pixel 7. I think the Pixel 7 is a good phone, but the Galaxy S23 definitely is more of a flagship, and you're definitely feeling like you have a flagship phone on the S23. I will say, though, for the price tag of the Pixel 7, this is a very, very good phone. It just kind of, you know, lets me down in some areas, specifically in the gaming department. I wish I could use the Pixel 7 as my main go-to, you know, emulation device. Unfortunately, I can't because it's just, Snapdragon is just so much more optimized. So hopefully in the future things change, but that's kind of how both these phones kind of compare. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. 
more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.